CDC TV presents Health Matters. In the U.S., nearly 17% of all children experience some form of developmental or behavioral disability. Recognizing a problem early for disabilities such as autism is key for parents and healthcare providers across the nation. To help children with potential problems reach a healthier future, CDC realized the impact of developmental disabilities and invested in a campaign known as Learn the Signs, Act Early. The program aims to help parents measure their child's progress in terms of milestones that monitor more than just the physical. Parents can gauge how their child develops by how they play, learn, speak, and act. When a parent is worried that a child may have a developmental problem, there are a number of things they can do. They should talk to their child's doctor, contact the early intervention agency if their child is under the age of three, or contact the local school district if their child is over the age of three. The good news is the earlier parents and providers recognize children that are delayed in reaching a milestone, the more intervention may help them to reach their full potential. All children develop at their own pace, and many reach particular milestones slightly late or early. A parent may notice that a child is not acting like the other children in their playgroup. What's a kitty say? The child is speaking later than their brother spoke. This is a time when a parent should go to their child's doctor. The age that a child takes a first step, smiles for the first time, and waves bye-bye offers important clues. A delay occurs when a child reaches a milestone at an age later than the average developmental rate. Now show me with your finger. By eight months old, a majority of children turn their heads upon hearing their name, smile back when someone smiles, and enjoy playing games like peekaboo. 18 month olds can engage in simple pretend play point to an interesting object, or speak in single words without prompting. By their second birthday, many children speak in two to four word phrases. Where's the baby's nose? Follow simple instructions and point to objects or pictures when named. Keeping track of how she plays, learns, speaks, and acts is really important. Those are the things that you can do as a mom to learn those early signs of child development. Follow your gut, you're the expert in your baby, and you can um, make a difference by letting her doctor know if you're worried about something that's going on. Cindy Gray noticed her daughter, Catherine, reached some milestones late. Even though other people were telling me that Catherine was fine, it was just that she was premature and very small, I had a feeling it was something more than that. Cindy Gray acted early. Acting early and seeing the signs of that something wasn't right with her and then taking those steps to find out what it was, even though that's really hard to do, made all the difference for her. To detect a problem early, connect early with your child and observe how they play, learn, speak, and act. We were so grateful that Catherine was diagnosed when she was because it allowed us to immediately get her the help that she needed. If you suspect a problem, act early. If your child's development seems to slow down or your child loses skills, seek a doctor's advice immediately. Most of the time, a developmental problem is not something children grow out of on their own. But with help, these children can reach their full potential. Hey.